Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about are your hair products causing your acne? And that's acne both on the face and on the body. So, do you have acne or do you have problems with your skin? So that can be acne on your hairline, your forehead, the side of your face, your neck, your chest area, your shoulders, your back, those are the areas in particular I am talking about. So a lot of the times we are using hair products that are excellent for our hair, but we find out that we're having so many acne breakouts and flare-ups and we wonder why. And the main ingredient in hair care products that causes acne are all the oils, as well as the other ingredients as well can contribute to acne on our skin. But oil in particular is the number one culprit. So what happens is the oil from our hair products sits on our skin, it clogs the pores and then causes irritation. So what are we gonna do? I have a few tips. The obvious solution that you could think of could be to stop the hair product, but I am not going to suggest that because a lot of the time the hair product works phenomenally in our hair and we don't necessarily just wanna boycott it all together. But of course that is an option, so we'll call that number one, stop using the product. The second thing you can do is be more careful where the hair product touches. So you can do this by wearing a t-shirt when you're styling your hair or wearing a towel or a bathrobe, some type of material to make a barrier between the hair product, your hair, and your actual skin. This is mainly for like when you are styling your hair. So a lot of the times we're styling our hair outside of the shower. Um, we're doing it at a time when we're getting dressed. We're in maybe regular clothes. We're not in the clothes that we are gonna wear out for the day. And sometimes our neck, our shoulders, our arms are exposed, our back is exposed. Hair product is dripping and running all over our arms our body and we're wondering why we're getting a lot of acne breakouts here as well as sometimes when we're applying a lot of product to the top of our head those hair products often run down especially around our eyes and then we're wondering why we're getting a lot of oily skin on our forehead the side of our face and then those little breakouts that form here also keep in mind that hair products do transfer when we sleep so it transfers onto our sheets and onto our pillowcases. We got a lot of hair product transfer when we're exercising as well, so we're sweating, and then our head and hair is heating up, and then that hair product starts to loosen up and starts to run all over. So tip number three is going to be to step up our skincare routine to ensure that we are thoroughly cleansing the skin after we style the hair or after we're exercising or any point in time where our hair is touching our skin whether it's the face or the body just making sure we are cleansing the skin properly to remove any hair product buildup. just the same way we want to make sure we remove the dirt and debris and pollution from the day makeup from the day we also want to make sure we're moving hair products off of our skin so if you watch the video of me doing these braids in my hair as soon as I was done my hair, so done styling my hair, I did stop, get a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a cotton pad and just wipe my face, my neck and my shoulders because the hair product that I used when I was doing my hair in braids got all over my skin and left my skin feeling so greasy and disgusting and I was not going to shower yet so I did want to make sure that I got rid of any product residue off my skin so it just wasn't sitting on the skin and then I would end up with a breakout in the morning. So tip number four will be to wash absolutely everything that your hair and your hair products touch. So just some things to keep in mind, your hair touches your towels, whether that's your body towel or a towel you're using specifically when you're washing and conditioning your hair, you make sure those are being washed regularly. Your sheets, your pillowcases, your hats, your scarves, your bonnets, all of that, as well as your clothes, of course. And another thing people will rarely do, I find, and I have to make a conscious effort to do it as well, People will rarely re wash things like their hair accessories. So your scrunchies, these type of material, hair accessories hold onto a lot of hair product. 
um, or if you watch my videos, I use my satin scrunchies when I am parting and sectioning and deep conditioning my hair. So those also end up soaking up a lot of hair product as well. And I am going to reuse them again. So I do have to make sure to always wash them out before I use them. So if you wear a lot of headbands or visors, also your glasses, if you're somebody wear, that wears glasses, your frames and the arms of your glasses, they get all up into your hair as well. And there's a lot of product transfer and then you can end up having a lot of breakouts around your eyes, especially if you wear a lot of gel or edge control products like that. And then of course, the fifth tip is to see a specialist. So see a doctor or a dermatologist, somebody who specializes in the skin, because sometimes our breakouts are not as easily treatable as we would hope. And it is more than okay to get professional help to control those breakouts. So quick recap of the four things. Stop using the product. Be more careful when using the product. Make sure to thoroughly cleanse your skin yeah. and make sure to thoroughly cleanse the items that your hair product touches. Also, some things that I like to put into practice to help cut down on the amount of hair products that are touching my skin when styling my hair are, of course, the big one, which is washing my hair outside of the tub. So I do the shampooing and conditioning process outside the tub. I just lean over the edge. So I, I find that when you're standing in the shower, all that shampoo, all that conditioner, it's running down from your head and down the lengths of your hair and all over your body. And of course, you're most likely gonna take a shower afterwards and thoroughly cleanse your body. But sometimes having those products sit on your skin, even if it's just for a couple seconds, is enough to cause irritation and that irritation can lead to breakouts. So I personally prefer to just do that process outside of the tub and then I can easily dry off my skin if anything ever touches it. And also after I blow dry and style my hair, that is usually when I will go into the shower and thoroughly cleanse my skin because when you're blow drying and you're styling, once again, hair products are getting all over and I want to make sure as soon as I'm done that I can put my hair up and hop into the shower and clean that all off. And that also goes for exercising. Make sure you hop into the shower immediately after exercising because your hair products mixed with all that sweat is a recipe for breakouts. Also, I like to make sure that the towel I use for my hair is different than the towel that I use for my body. So there is no cross-contamination for hair products. My final tip, of course, is that whenever you are wearing your hair down, because of course there's gonna be times where we don't always wanna have our hair up, is to just make sure you're wearing clothing or something that can add to that barrier between your hair products and your skin. Of course, this does get a little bit trickier in the warmer and summer months when it's super hot and you basically don't wanna have any clothes on. So that was my take on possible reasons why your hair products could be causing your face and body acne. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.